Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone had a good holiday, good New Year's. Um, we are back at it with Commander Legends. I got two packs of that and I have three packs of Zendikar Rising. Uh, the set booster, which I haven't opened up on the channel yet. I've opened a couple packs here at home um, and I really like the art cards in them. I haven't gotten in an etched one yet, so hopefully we get one of those. Hoping for some cool stuff in both. Um, definitely have a couple cards that I need out of both Zendikar Rising and Commander Legends. Um, my cat won't get out of the way, so we're just going. If anyone has pets, especially cats, uh, you know that they kind of own the area. So I'm just going with the flow, letting her do her thing. So we are going to start with Zendikar Rising. So we got three packs of this. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, here's our art card. Looks pretty cool. Um, it is the Seagate Storm color by Anna Steinbauer. Don't believe I have that one yet. Then we have a full art swamp. Grotag Bug Catcher. Tajuru Snare Caster. Uh, Skyclave Pickaxe is an uncommon. Skyclave Geopede is an uncommon. Has Landfall. Lithoform Br Blight is an uncommon. Mine Carver. Balaged Recovery. It's one of the flip lands. And we have a negate. Always use one of those. It's definitely a good counter spell to have. We got another mine carver. And then we have a Kazandu Mammoth. It's a rare. And a Kazandu Valley. Then we got a foil rare or a Skyclave Hierophant. It's a legendary creature. Uh, with lifelink, when Aura, Skyclave, Hierophant, or another cleric you control dies, return target cleric card with lesser converted mana cost from your graveyard to the battlefield. And we have Entreat the Angels, so we got a mythic as well. Looks like it could be a list card because of the Planeswalker symbol in the corner. Um, it's a sorcery. Uh, create X44 white angel creature tokens with flying and it has miracle for X and two white. You may cast this card for its miracle cost when you draw it if it's the first card you draw this turn. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and sleeve up the Entreat the Angels and my Foil Rare, just so we can keep those protected there. It's a pretty good pack. I got a Mythic, a Foil Rare, and then my regular Rare. Um, go ahead and comment down below um, any cards you like out of Zendikar Rising, any of the cards that I pulled today that you like, give me your feedback on those. I definitely am not super familiar with Zendikar Rising, so knowing what's good out of there would be helpful. All right, let's go ahead and get on into the second pack. Uh, 
All right, we got our second art card. Oh, and I'm holding it upside down. We have an island by Anna Steinbauer again. Definitely kind of see a theme with her artwork. Um, and then we have a foil swamp, so that's cool. Then we have a cleansing wildfire, pyroclastic hellion, spitfire lagak, akum hellhound, spring mantle cleric. I like the cleric and the elves, angels, different stuff like that. I like the artwork that goes along with those themes. Um, I really like the like the flowers on the deer's antlers. Grotag Night Runner is an uncommon. Uh, we have a dread worm. Uh, it's in a different card frame. I'm not sure if that's extended art or a showcase. Um, that looks pretty cool though. Pyroclastic Hellion, Molten Blast, then we have a Kaza, oh, I see another foil back there, so I don't know what that is. Kaza Royal Chaser is a legendary creature flying in haste. If you tap it, the next instant or sorcery spell you cast this turn costs X less to cast, where X is the number of wizards you control as this ability resolves. And then we have a Foil Seagate Colossus. Uh, that was actually um, the artwork of our first art card that we got. I definitely like the foiling on that. It looks really cool. Um, it's an artifact creature, a Golem Warrior. This spell costs one less to cast for each creature in your party, and your party consists of up to one each of cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard. Definitely gives me like D and D vibes, um, which I'm a fan of. So it's it's pretty cool. I like the foiling on the artifacts. It kind of gives it like a more of a hollow than the other rares. So I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve up the foil. Um, we got a foil Seagate Colossus and the foil Swamp. Definitely could use more full art lands. Definitely prefer the full art over the others. Then we're going to pull out Kaza too. Set the other stuff over here. And then we're going into the third pack of Zendikar Rising. So I, I think we've been doing pretty okay so far. All right. Our third art card. This is, this is interesting. It definitely gives me like black blue vibes. So let's see. Anti-Cognition by Igor Kirilluk. And we have a Full Art Planes. Expedition Skulker. Tajiru Blightblade. Deadly Alliance. Ghastly Gloom Hunter. Lull Mage's Domination, Base Camp. With this, uh, that's pretty cool because it has the add one mana of any color, spend this mana only to cast a Cleric, Rogue, Warrior, Wizard spell, or to activate an ability of the Cleric, Rogue, Warrior, Wizard. Uh, we have another showcase, Spitfire Lagic. We got that card in just a normal card frame in the second pack, I believe. So I definitely like 
having duplicates, especially if one's a showcase, so I can put the showcase up and use the other one just to keep the showcase nice. Um, we have Broken Wings, Thwart the Grave, and then our rare is Null Priest of Oblivion. It's a Vampire Cleric, has Kicker, uh, with three and a black, and has Madison Lifelink. And then when Null Priest of Oblivion enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, uh, you return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. So when you kick something, you pay instead of, so up here it says one and one black, so it would be a casting cost of two. And the kicker, you you add four, so it would be a casting cost of six total. Um, so you get the creature with the medicine, the lifelink, and then you can also return a creature card that died in your graveyard to your battlefield so you can try to use something with another ability again. And then we have a Fissure Wizard. And then just a Drake token. This is a pretty okay pack. Definitely not as good as the other ones in my opinion. I feel like I got a little more value out of the first two packs than this one. Which, I mean, you get that sometimes. Like, sometimes you'll get really loaded packs and other times you will just get okay packs. But definitely have use for quite a few cards that I pulled today. Um, also today, I am going to be able to cross off two different sets off of my list. I'm starting kind of this journey with myself um, to try to open up one or more um, of every set in Magic. Pretty much everything except for Alpha, Beta, and Un Unlimited because we all know, like, no one has that kind of money right now. Um, so I'm going to try to see how far I can get between now and, you know, 2022. So we're definitely, I'll definitely keep you guys updated clearly on the progress on that. So today I'm going to be checking off Zedekar Rising and Commander Legends off of that. Hey Priscilla, that's, that's not what we do, girl. Okay, so we're just going to hang out with my cat. Um, any of my work people, you all know her. So she's just hanging out. She's sassy. She loves attention. So your face is kind of dirty. What were you doing? Okay, so Commander Legends. Here we go. We got a Crushing Vines. Dragon Mantle. Okay, bye. Kite Scale Skirmisher. Jalum Tome. Makeshift Munitions. Murder. Anointer of Valor. There's an Angel. So I might look for a spot in my Angel deck for that. Scrounging Bander. Moss Diamond. I haven't gotten a green one yet. So that's another diamond to add to my collection. Exquisite Hunt Master. Seraph of Dawn, another angel. Maelstrom Colossus. Commander Sphere. Warden of Evo Sile was our first uncommon. And then Dreamstone Hedron. And then Feast of Succession. Our rare is going to be a Court of Ambition. When it enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. At the beginning of, a, of your upkeep, each opponent loses three life as they discard a card. 
You're the monarch. Instead, each opponent loses six life unless they discard two cards. And then we have a Revic Architect of Ascension for our partner. And then Rograk, son of Roga. Definitely butchered that. Um, and then we have a Foil Prophetic Prism. That looks sweet and definitely like, like I said, the holographic on the artifacts. It definitely comes through a lot more than the other foils. And then we have a Thrill token. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve up the foil. I see a little, like a little dang right there. Right on the surface, it's like a chip almost out of the top layer. And then, you know, of course it's curved, so. Then, I'm gonna put our rare over here. And then we are going to go into the last pack. I hope you guys are having a good evening. Um, currently it is 1 o'clock in the morning. So I'm just kind of hanging out. I have this second wind. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to film a video. See what happens. Gotten some pretty okay stuff, not going to lie. All right, so we have a Renegade Tactics, Strategic Planning, Spark Harvest, Rip Scale Predator, Scholar of Stars, Eye Blight Massacre, Ancestral Blade, Fertilled. Charcoal Diamond, another one I don't have, so I'm pretty sure I have one of every color now. Viscera Seer, Perilous Mirror, Terramorphic Expanse, I like the artwork on that, it's uh, definitely different than the other Terramorphic Expanses I have. Kind of gives a more dark, eerie vibe to it. For our first uncommon, we have Interpret the Signs. Patron of the Valiant. And Hunter's Insight. Then we have an Acroma's Will. For our rare. Choose one. If you control a commander as you cast this spell, you may choose both. Creatures you control gain flying, vigilance, and double strike until the end of the turn. And creatures you control gain lifelink, indestructible, and protection from all colors until the end of the turn. So that is very, very nice. Um, very, very good for like an angel deck. Um, I mean, most of your angels will have most of these abilities anyway. Definitely flying. Some of them have lifelink, but to have all of those abilities, because you're more than likely going to have a commander on the battlefield, definitely makes it a little easier to maintain and stabilize late game. Then we have a Dargo the Shipwrecker for our first partner card. Looks kind of cartoony. Um, and then we have a Sinai Eye of the Storm for our second partner card. And then we have Elvish Visionary for our foil. And then we have a Prismatic Piper in a Showcase. I believe. Extended Art? I don't, I don't know the difference. And then we have a Rock Token. So I'm going to sleeve up this Elvish Visionary foil. Let's 
maybe if I can see to get it in there. And then I'm going to sleeve up, where'd it go? The chroma as well. And that is probably immediately going into my deck because I've been needing one of those. All right, so just to do kind of like a recap, uh, we have the Acroma's Will, the Elvish Visionary Foil. I'm going to try to sort these by rarity here. Um, Court of Ambition, Perfect Prism Rare, or Foil. We have the Spitfire Legat uh, Showcase, the Fissure Wizard Foil, which is a common. Kaza Royal Chaser, which is a rare. We have our Full Art Swap. Our Seagate Colossus Foil Common. Kazandu Mammoth. And then the Kazandu Valley Flip. It's a rare. And we have Aura Skyclave Hierophant Rare Foil. Then we have the Entreat the Angels Mythic. And then Negate, which is just pretty good card, pretty solid uh, counter spell to have just kind of one of those, kind of like a soul ring or a command tower in my book. Like if you're running blue, you should have one at least. Um, definitely in commander because you, you have one of each card and there's so many counter spells in blue. You can just kind of load up your deck with counter spells of different types. So, I think we did pretty all right. Uh, definitely got some good cards, got some foils, got a mythic list card, um, got a showcase. So we kind of were kind of all over the place there um, with those packs. So definitely enjoyed opening that stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and hanging out with me. Uh, we will be back. My cat might be joining in future videos because she seems to enjoy hanging out with me. She's still on the table. so I hope everyone has a great night. And thanks again for watching. And we'll see you again next time.